Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I was actually going to fix something in my game and I decided to record it for you guys because some people have the same issue or, or have encountered this issue before and it can be super annoying. So you know that moment when you go into edit your family or change look, plan outfits, and your kid has a specific hair color. But because you are using custom content, when you exit the create a sim and go back into the game, your kid ends up with a completely different hair color than the one you chose for him or her. What I would do in the past was I would go into the create a sim and I would go and try to change the hair and go and try to save it and see if the hair is a different color if it is and go back and keep changing and just doing that over and over and over again until the game decides to randomly choose a color that i want but that can take a while it sometimes it doesn't even work and your sim ends up with a completely weird hair color or even eyebrow color that can happen so I've been doing this lately and this has been saving my butt because it is just so annoying. There is no way for EI to really fix this issue because it is an issue having to do with mods and mods it's not really their responsibility. Not everyone has to use them, it's not something core to the game, you don't need it to play the game, so it's not really something that they're gonna be looking into. So we're the ones we're gonna have to, to save ourselves and this is the way that I do it. So to do this you're gonna need to use the Sims 4 Studio. I have made a video in the past showing you guys how to download the software and also how to color your own CC on this software but today I'm gonna show you guys how you can alter a specific hairstyle and make it work so I'm gonna close this for now because I'm gonna need to go to the mods folder for this software now I'm gonna do this because the hair that I want to change isn't in the game it is CC so I'm gonna go to my documents folder Sims 4 studio mods and I'm gonna go pick up the hair that I want to alter and that I want to use on my toddler. This is the one and I have a toddler. I want her hair to be this purple right here, but for some reason I always end up with red hair. And it is for a part of the baby challenge, if you guys watched that video. I was struggling a lot saving my toddler because she she would always end up with red hair and not the purple that I chose for her. So we're gonna be fixing this. If you guys are interested in this hair, I'm gonna leave a link to it in description. It is by Wiley Miniature Sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually download this. And let's go the get the unnaturals one. Download. Now for you to do this, what you just downloaded, you're gonna have to move that mod also to your mods folder in Sims 4, mods, and just move it to whatever place you want inside that folder. It just needs to be inside the mods folder, like that. And you're gonna do the same to the Sims 4 Studio folder. So just pick up the mod and move it over to the folder inside Sims 4 Studio. Now you're gonna close this window. You're gonna open up the software again. Before using it, or if you are using the software for the first time, make sure to enter your creator name. Uh, and since I'm gonna alter an hairstyle, I'm gonna go to create a sim. And since I plan to alter something that isn't in the game, I'm gonna go to content and select custom. And here I, it's gonna show up all the hairstyles that I have on my mods folder of Sims 4 Studio. So I'm gonna try to look for the hair that I want to alter. You can also go and select what part it is, and in my case it's hair. So let's just try to look for it. And I think it's this one, even though it's not really showing a picture. But I can see what's written. So let's go next. And it's gonna be... Nicole's hair. Since it's the hair that I'm gonna give to my sim. You need to wait a little bit. But after you are done, the software is gonna create a little file on whatever place you actually chose to save the file at and here we have what we're gonna work with the hair is not showing that properly here for some reason but i don't mind it because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove 
all of these swatches except for the swatch that I want. So this one is gonna have to go. I'm gonna remove all of these except for the purple color that I want, which is this one. I wish there was a way for us to select everything, <laughs> but th there's not one as far as I'm aware. So there you go. I have only this swatch over here. So I'm gonna save this and it has been saved. Now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna close software. I'm gonna take the file that I just created with that only hair color that I want and I'm gonna move it over to my Sims 4 mods folder, which is at the documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, and mods. Just move it to whatever you really want it to be. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the game, and we're gonna try to see if this actually works. And I guess while Sims 4 is opening, let me show you guys what you can do if you are having this issue without the CC. If this happens, if your sim ends up having one air color that you don't want and that you haven't chosen and you, and you are not using mods, you can do the same thing that you've done here, but do something that came in the game. So I can go to the hair and I can pick a hair that was that is for dollars, for example, and I can select wh whichever hair I want that is from the game. For example, this one. And let's say I want only the red one. Just call it whatever. <laughs> and once you're here, just remove the swatches that you don't want. And there, you save, just like you did. And if you go into the game, you're gonna have this hair with only this hair color, which is the color that you want. And your toddler is not gonna keep changing hair colors. So that's the way to do things. Now, this can work for eyebrows if your sim keeps changing eyebrow color. That can happen, it has happened to me before. Um, you can do it with whatever you want. If there's something happening, something weird, like something changes when you ace it to the credit sim, this is your best bet. You can totally do this. Just keep it to yourself, don't share it with others because you didn't really alter nothing major about someone else's creation, so this is a quick fix for you. <laughs> don't share it with others, it's super easy to do if anyone is having this issue, they can do this for themselves. Don't share other people's work without their permission. So once in game, I'm gonna go onto the family that I have been playing and I'm gonna select the house gonna enter it. Now in game, I have here my little toddler, which as you can see, her hair is red. I couldn't, I just really couldn't change her hair to purple. I'm gonna go on to the plan outfits. Uh, you do need to have the sheet cast full edit mode on, which if you guys don't know, it's just open sheet console, control shift C and type cast.fulledit mode and just press enter and the sheet will be on. And once you go into create a sim, you have full control of any little detail that you want to change about your sim. So once here, as you can see, she has the this hair. And no matter how many times I told her that I wanted this hair color, every time that I save my game, this is what happens. As you can see, she has blonde hair now. And if I go check, as you can see, she changed her hair color. And this is the issue. <laughs> it's so annoying. She's still blonde. Why? It's purple. <laughs> I'm still blonde. Yep. So if I keep looking here, the hair that I saved is gonna be right over here. And the thing with this is that she cannot change into any other hair color because there is none. That's the trick about this, this be beauty. <laughs> That's the beauty of this, like... How can you change hair color now? Tell me, game, tell me. So, as you can see, your hair is purple and it's gonna say purple. And that's how you solve these issues. For the eyebrows, the same thing. If she had eyebrows, she doesn't because she's an alien, but if she had them, I feel like she would always keep changing eyebrow colors because the hair color that she has is a natural and doesn't exist in, normally in the game. So that's another way that you can fix things. 
And if I go and go back into the game, as you can see, her hair is now purple, the color that I wanted it to be. So this is the little quick trick. I hope it helps you if you have encountered this issue before. It's really easy to fix and I feel like everybody should know about this. It's not that hard. It's not really hard. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. I'll take a look at them. And until the next video, goodbye everybody.